Over the last few years, I've enjoyed prototyping projects using the PIC32 based Maximite and Micromite devices developed by Jeff Graham. These are programmed using a powerful and modern version of the basic language, in, which includes drivers for many common peripherals such as LCDs, infrared remote sensors, and temperature sensors. PIC32 chips cost about $5 each. Once MM Basic is loaded using a PIC kit programmer, basic programs can be loaded using a simple serial connection. The hardware is simple, with a minimum deployment comprising the chip, a 3 volt battery, and a reference voltage stabilizing capacitor. For projects that require a network connection, such as my household file and web server, I use the Raspberry Pi. These run Linux, require 5 volts at about 2 amps, and cost about 10 times the price of a Micromite. For smaller projects, there's the Raspberry Pi Zero shown here next to a Micromite for scale. The Raspberry Pi includes programmable GPIO pins that can be easily programmed using Python. It takes a while to become familiar with each platform and I figured that between the two, I could ignore the alternatives. Until I bought this RC522 RFID card module. There was no standard Micromite driver for these, but as with other unusual hardware, I figured I'd write my own with reference to the device data sheets. I spent a day trying to do this on my Maximite and was able to talk to the module, but I couldn't get it to read a card. Then I found a forum where someone had translated a driver for the Arduino to MM Basic. I spent another day trying to get this to work. Then it struck me that I might be making this unnecessarily hard for myself. I think of Arduinos as a cross between the Micromite and the Raspberry Pi. A genuine Arduino costs as much as a Raspberry Pi and is programmed in a C-like compiled language using the Arduino IDE. The IDE is public domain with the Arduino project funded through donations and hardware sales. The big advantage of the Arduino is the vast library of driver code, including for the RC522 RFID card module. I ordered some Arduino Nano knockoffs, and once I got the IDE working, was surprised how quick and easy it was to get a simple RFID reader and display program working properly. I was curious how the Arduino would compare in performance to the Micromite. The Micromite's 32-bit hardware and quite powerful in contrast to the Arduino's 8-bit processor with rather limited on-chip memory. I usually use a simple program to calculate the first thousand primes to compare performance of different processes, but the hard Arduino's hardware limitations meant that I had to restrict this to 500. Despite its humble hardware, it was no surprise that the Arduino could complete the primes calculations faster since it was using compiled C in comparison to the Micromite's interpreted basic code. In addition to programming Arduinos, the IDE can be used to program other devices, such as the AT Tiny. I made this jig to use an Arduino Nano as an in circuit programmer for an AT Tiny 85. ATtiny is an 8-bit processor in an 8-pin package with five programmable I.O. pins, costing less than half the price of a PIC32 chip. Its minimum deployment is just a chip and the 3 volt battery. For prototyping projects, my go-to controller remains the Micromite. It's quicker and simpler to use 
and its powerful hardware imposes minimal limitations. For projects requiring Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or network connectivity, the Raspberry Pi has these built in. And for projects requiring difficult to find hardware drivers, uh, or um, projects requiring a really, really tiny implementation of a microprocessor, the Arduino is a good arrow to have in your quiver.